Hello again, a new day, a new experiment, and uh, finally I got me this. It's a new, brand new key for my Toyota Prius Gen 3. And this is an F33433, probably this this is the, the frequency. Well, it, it's coming from China. And uh, well, it took like three months to finally have it in my pocket. It's the same key like the original, but without any OAM uh, uh, stamps here or anyway. And um, already have a battery inside, and I have the mechanical key. This one needs to to be worked of course and now what I'm trying to do today is to pair the new key this one with the old one and of course you can see it's absolutely the same design except the logo but I don't care as long as it's working or something okay so I have the new one and I have the old I, I have the new one sorry and the old one here so what I'm trying to do today is to pair them or better say to register the new one to the machine to the car of course we need an interface and this is a mongoose interface I just have to plug it to the port down here Luckily it was raining a little bit and now the weather is pretty nice and cool and uh, I already had the software installed Just start the car Let me Let me have something because we need to to work with the keys. What I meant about working with the keys is that we have to hide or you know getting in and out from the uh, car the keys so uh, it's easier to have it under the car in between the things okay so the swipe door in, uh, is installed the point is that uh, it really needs Windows 7 I've been trying to to work on this one with uh, Windows 10 and it's not responding let's see that's text stream Okay, not now. Connect to vehicle. Okay, we need a serial number here. USB communication and let's see. Is it okay? Yes, of course. Look there, it's connecting to the computer. Perfect. There is no network here, so uh, it doesn't need to, to get connected to a network or Wi-Fi or anything. Uh, better just leave it like that. There we are. So, we have this option here, smart key. Utility. And we have a smart 
code registration. All I have to do is to follow these steps here. Of course, of course, of course. Like I said before, the, the new fob, the new key is absolutely virgin, so it never ever been registered. You can see I have six more spaces for the keys. Only one registered, and that's the original. And now, step one, separate those two keys, of course old new now we have to place the registered key into the vehicle okay so the new one goes out okay number pre-start okay again and let's start doing that now I have to get the key near the contact here and we have a beep now i have to remove the registered key the original let's say from the vehicle and bring the new one into and place it closer to the ignition and here we are that's it now I have two registered keys and everything gets smooth and nice. Let's see. Okay, let me turn the car. Let me have the original key away from the car. That's the new one. And let's see if we can start the car like that. Brake. Perfect. Everything is working as it should. So, that cost me around 50 or 55 dollars from China and it's a perfect match and uh, it's working as original. The point is that never buy used keys from the internet and try to pair with the car because once the key was uh, written has been written you can't have it erased and written back everything is so complicated so it's better to have new ones they are very cheap and uh, if you have a little bit of knowledge about computer and uh, uh, interfaces and stuff like this you can do it yourself very easy and very simple i hope it's useful please like subscribe and don't forget to have fun bye bye